Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll be taking you through HTML form. Everyone in today's world is quite familiar with the term form. We go through them many times, whether it be any website registration portal or the login portal. Forms are used everywhere. In this video, we'll see how to use forms in order to take the user's input. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. In the most basic definition, a form is something we use to take the user's data. For example, if the user wants to register on a website, then they have to give us their names, email and some more info about them. A form takes input from the user and then posts it into the backend application for further processing and other stuff like validation and all. The HTML form tag is used to create a form. It's quite simple to create a form in HTML. We'll move to the programming part directly and create a simple form to start with. So the first and foremost part is that we need to use the form tag to create a form. So what we'll do is we'll move to the body of our program and we'll write here form. So this is the form tag in HTML. Save the program and you can see here nothing happened on the browser. So this form tag created an area for a form. It basically worked like the div tag we used in the previous videos. Now to include data in a form, we need text areas or we can say input boxes in our form. There are various form elements available like text field, text area fields, drop down menus, radio buttons, check boxes, etc. So let's start using them in the form here. First of all, we'll create a text box for the user's name. For that, what we have to do is we have to write here inside the form tag. So we'll write here first name and then we have to write here input. So input is another tag. So we have to write here input and then we have to use the type address. So the type is going to be text for this text box and we'll write here name. Name is going to be first name. Fine. Now save this and you can see here we have an input box for the first name. The same code we can use for the last name as well. What we have to do is we have to copy it from here. We have to paste it here. So we'll use the br tag before using it again. Now we have to change first here with last. So we'll write here last and in name as well we'll write last. Fine. So we have this last name over here. Save it and you can see we have first name and last name. We have two different text boxes present over here. We'll use the br tag one more time. Save it now and you can see it clearly now. Right. So here we are done with the first text box of us. Now this input tag over here is used to create these text boxes and the name refers to the text box's name. Fine. Another thing we can do here is we can write here placeholder and inside placeholder we can write something. Let's say we are writing over here first name and you can see first name over here. It's permanent until we write something inside the box, the placeholder value will appear on the text box. Same thing we can do here as well. We have to write here placeholder. So we have placeholder for last name as well. Save it now and you can see the value of placeholder over here. The moment we start writing something over here, you can see the placeholder value is not here anymore. Fine. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit Skill Up by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. Now, there are different types of form controls that we can use to collect data using HTML form. They are text input controls, we can use checkboxes, radio buttons, we can use select box controls, and we can also use file select boxes. So we can use radio buttons in our form for that. What we need to do is we need to change the type in our form. So that's the only thing that will change no matter what controls we are using. So what we have to do is we have to write here. Let's say we are using break tag first. So we'll use two break tags over here in order to make the whole web page clear and easily understandable for you guys. 
so next thing we'll do is we'll write here gender so let's write here gender then we'll use break tag again and after this we'll write input type is equals to radio and we can write here name name is going to be let's say mail and the value for this is going to be mail again fine we can use the value attribute here as well so we'll use it later now the next thing we'll do is we'll write here input again we'll add another gender so let's say we have type here as radio again and then we have name as female and we'll write here fine so save it now and you can see two radio buttons over here we can check them in and you can see we have radio buttons working totally fine we can use these values later on as well similarly we can use check boxes as well in our form we'll see how in the upcoming video where we'll create something like a login or a sign up form using html only so there are three different types of text inputs used on forms we can use single line text input controls so this control is used for items that require only one line of user input such as search boxes or name they are created in html using the input tag we discussed them till now so these all are the example of single line text input controls which we discussed till now the next are password input control this is also a single line text input but it masks the character as soon as a user enters it they are also created using the html input tag so the syntax goes like this we have to write here after this so we'll use the br tag again over here and now we'll write here input so before that let's write password so this password is going to be the user's password for our website for login or maybe for sign in so this is the password so we'll write here input type is equals to password and then we'll write here name as password fine save it now and you can see password written over here with a text box fine right inside here will get masked so if we write anything over here you can see it in the form of password it will get masked as soon as we enter it so this is done to make the password a secret now we can also set the maximum length of a password using the max length attribute so what we have to do is we have to write here max length and the max length is going to be let's say 8 fine save the program and now if we write something over here you can see and now we are not able to use more than 8 characters inside this particular text box right because we have defined the max length as 8 and it will allow only 8 characters inside the text box fine the last one we have our multi-line text input controls this is used when the user is required to give details that may be longer than a single sentence so multi-line input controls are created using html text area tag the syntax for a multi-line input is simple we have to write here after this so we'll use the br tag again for two times and then we'll write here let's say description fine so after description we'll use the br tag to make it more clear and then we'll write here text area so this is the tag and then we have to define rows and columns here so rows are going to be 5 and we'll write here calls so these two are the attributes we'll write here 50 this basically we are defining the area acquired by this text area fine then we'll write here name and we'll write here description then we'll write something over here so let's say we'll write over here enter description here and that's it save the program and you can see we have a text area present over here it's bigger in size than the normal text boxes we had earlier so what we can do is we can remove it from here and we can use the placeholder attribute inside the text area tag to write such thing fine the last important thing in a form is the submit button so this button is used to submit the form data we can either use the input tag or the button tag for a submit button 
fine so let's use the input tag for creating a button first what we'll do is we'll write here after this we'll write here the break tag and then we'll write input type is equals to button and then we have value is equals to submit fine save the program and you can see the button over here on the browser so here's the button we can further make this button work with the help of javascript but we are creating the layout only for now so let it be this way only the next method we can use for creating a button is by using the button tag so what we have to do is we have to write here just use the br tag once and write here button so this is the tag and write here the name of button fine so we'll write here submit save the program and you can see here another button fine so here's the button you can see both the buttons are exactly same no difference between the buttons we can style this form according to our needs we'll do something different in the next video so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we'll create something new with what we have learned till now so if you enjoyed watching this video do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments and we'll be happy to help Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Simply Code. Thank you.